Hello, I'm Simit Jandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We recently published the Android for Cars app library to beta, so you could start bringing your navigation, parking, and charging apps to Android Auto. Also, you can now publish your apps to closed testing tracks in the Google Play Store. This is a great way to get feedback on how well your app meets the app quality guidelines, plus get your in-car experience in front of your first Android Auto users. Everything you need to get started is in the post. We've announced the Google for Startups Accelerator Voice AI program to advance and support the most promising voice-enabled AI startups across North America. With an emphasis on product development and machine learning, founders will connect with voice technology and AI experts from across Google to take their innovative solutions to the next level. The Accelerator will kick off in March 2021, and applications are open until January 28th, 2021. The link to apply is in the post. We released version 1.0 of gRPC Kotlin for Android and Cloud. gRPC Kotlin makes it easy to create data transfer objects and the services around them, and is Google Cloud ready. Backend services created with the gRPC Kotlin can easily be packaged for deployment in Kubernetes, Cloud Run, or really anywhere you can run Docker containers or JVM apps. Check out the post for sample code and a quick start guide. Monitoring query language in cloud monitoring is now generally available. MQL is the same language that powers advanced querying for internal Google production users, and it's now available to Google Cloud users as well. You can use MQL to create ratio-based charts and alerts, perform time shift analyses, apply mathematical, logical, table operations, and other functions to metrics, and much more. Check out the post to get started. In Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL, we're adding extensions to support connectivity within databases and to support new data types that make it easier to store and query IP addresses and phone numbers. For more details, check out the post. There's now a convenient single command to build and deploy your code to Cloud Run. This command combines the power of Google Cloud Build Packs, which lets you automatically build container images from your source code, with Cloud Build, which builds container images remotely without having to install Docker on your machine. This single command takes you from source code to a URL ready to receive production traffic using Cloud Run. Click through to the post to review the new command and find out how it works. TensorFlow 2.4 is here. This includes new features in the TF Distribute module, like experimental support for asynchronous training of models with parameter server strategy. This release also marks the graduation of the multi-worker mirrored strategy from experimental to the stable API. On the Keras side, the mixed precision API has also graduated from experimental to the stable API. We've also refactored the Keras optimizer, enabling anyone using model fit or custom training loops to write training code to work with any optimizer. This release also includes experimental support for a subset of NumPy APIs, enabling you to run NumPy code. TF 2.4 also includes new profiler tools that can profile multi-worker mirrored strategy training jobs and new features for GPU support to enable the newly available NVIDIA Ampere GPU architecture. For more details on all the new updates in this release, check out the blog post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Sumit for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Hehehe. <laughs>